phonetics and phonology. And today we are going to talk about a lesion of T sound. Always remember, a lesion of T occurs if it is preceded by a voiceless consonant sound and followed by a consonant sound. First point, remember, if any vowel sound comes before ta or after ta sound, there will be no elision. For the sound, it was that you, you should have consonant before and after the sound, but here it is different. You should have a voice less consonant before ta sound. What are voiceless consonant sounds? These are nine. First one is p, t, third one is k, then you have f, then we have th, then we have s, h, sh, ch. So these are nine. Now we are going to focus, start with examples. Let's see the first example. It's facts. We have see three colors: k in green, t in red, and s in black. So t sound is preceded by k sound, that is a voiceless consonant. And after t, there there is a sound that is. It is not necessary that it should be a voiceless or voice consonant, but it's necessary that it should be a consonant sound. So what we are going to do, T is preceded by voiceless consonant K and followed by consonant S. So T will, T sound will be elided. So it will become fax. So T sound will be completely removed. Always remember there's a difference between assimilation and elision. In assimilation, we replace one sound with other one. And in elision, we completely drop or remove that sound. So T is removed. It will become fax. Let's see another example. It is instincts. T has K sound before it. That is voiceless consonant. And after T, we have sound that is also a consonant. So T is preceded by voiceless consonant K and followed by a consonant S. So T, T will be elided. So it will become instincts. T will be dropped or removed. And the other example is vastness. Same, T is preceded by voiceless consonant S and followed by consonant SH. So T will be elided and it will become vastness. Exceptions are also here. What is the exception? It is same as it was with the sound elision. T does not elide when it is followed by her sound. So one condition is off. It's finished. Before T, there should be a voiceless consonant, but if there is her sound that comes after ter sound, so what we are going to do, we are not going to elide ter sound. What does it mean? Means ter sound will stay there. Gift horse. See, ter has voiceless consonant before it, but after T, H is there. So what we are going to do, we'll keep it same. Same is with guest house. After T, we have her sound. And left hand, we have her after T sound. So in all these three examples, see, we are not going to drop or remove T sound. Why? Because her sound comes after it. So it is thumb rule. Always remember, whenever ter sound is preceded by her sound, you are not 
going to elide it. Now, optional. Optional means where you have two choices. You can elide it or you can keep it the same. If the sound is followed by r, w, and l sound, it is optional to elide the sound. So you have both choices. Let's see the examples. Last rites. So you can see what comes after t. It's r sound. So you have two options. Keep it same, like last right or elide t sound. Last right. Both are correct. Another example is soft landing. So after t, l sound comes. So we have two choices. Either keep it same, t will remain there, soft landing, and we can drop or remove or elide t sound, soft landing. Third one is left wing. W sound comes after t, so either you will keep it left wing, t will be there, or you will drop it left wing. So remember, if r sound, r sound, or r sound, l sound, or w sound, these three sound, whenever come after t sound, you have two options. Either to keep it same, t will remain there, or you are going to elide t sound. Thank you for watching.